Namaste student. Today we are going to see problem related to linear equation in two variable. Here we have five problems. Generally we have four problem here. Write three solution for pi x plus y equals to 9. So very simple what we have. We have pi x plus y equals to 9. That means we can write y in term of x. So many students do mistake here. What they are doing, they are taking pi equals to 22 by 7. That is totally wrong. Pi is not equals to 22 by 7. So we'll keep like this. What? We'll take x equals to 0. That means y equals to what? Pi minus 9 minus pi into 0. That means 9. One solution we'll get. For x equals to 1, y equals to what? 9 minus pi into 1 that is 9 minus pi this is another solution and for next we'll see here y equals to 9 minus pi into 2 we are getting here 9 minus 2 pi therefore our solution are 0 9 comma 1 9 minus pi and 2 comma 9 minus 2 pi are 3 solution if they are asking for, we can take minus also. Sometimes see here, here I have taken all are positive, you know, all positive. So it's not compulsory that you need to take positive. We can take minus one also. If we we'll take minus one, minus minus become plus, you will get nine plus pi. Okay, you can take, no problem. So we have another one. Let's see what we have. Write three integral solution. Now the question will answer solution and integral solution. Now if you see here, this is not, this is your integral, why integer, you can see both are integer. But if we go for this one, you can see this is your integer and this is not an integer. Why? There is a pi and pi is a irrational number and irrational number is not an integer. So these two are not your integral solution. So we need to find integral solution. So to find the integral solution, your set should be integer, then only we call integral solution. So three solution we need. So we have here, what we have? We have 2x plus y equals to 7. And y can be written as 7 minus 2x. And here, this is a very simple problem. That's why we'll get all integral solution here normally. No need to worry for that. Just if we take x equals to 1, we'll get y equals to 7 minus 2 into 1. And we are getting 5. And if we go for x equals to 2, we have here 7 minus 2 into 2, that is 3. And if we go for x equals to 3, we have y equals to 7 minus 3, 2 into 3, getting 1. So, we have taken 1 as an integer and we are getting 5 as an integer. 2, 3, both are integer. 3, 1, integer. Therefore, therefore we can say that 1, 5. 2, 3 and 3, 1 are 3 integral solution for 2x plus y equals to 7. Okay. So, if we'll see, sir, is there any problem which is like, so if we'll take here 3y equals to 7 like that. And if I'll ask you to find the integral solution, this is another, you take another problem. Okay, this is another problem. If we go for this one, y equals to y, 7 minus 2x by 3. Now, if we'll take here, see here, if we'll take here 0, if we'll take 0, will you get? No, 7 by 3 and 7 by 3 is not an integer, that is not a solution. So you need to think for x, such a number, so that after solving your y should be an integer then only the set is called integral solution can you guess for that yes if we we'll take x equals to 2 look at if we we'll take x equals to 2 we are getting what 7 minus 2 into 2 by 3 that is 4 7 minus 4 equals to 3 and 3 by 3 will give you 1 so we have infinite number of integral solution for the given straight line this represent your straight line so we need only three integral solution if we we'll take one we'll not get if we we'll take three also you will not get one by three you will get 
but if we'll take two x equals to two we'll get one that means if we'll take two we'll get one so two one is an integral solution for this equation okay next proceed for your third number what they are asking here find the value of k if x equals to two y equals to one is a solution of the equation so we have equation here what equation we have 2x plus 3y equals to k now since since what since since x equals to 2 and y equals to 1 is a solution since x equals to 2 y equals to 1 is a solution that means 2 1 is a solution this is another way to represent the solution okay now if it is a solution that means this will satisfy the equation therefore wherever x is there you substitute the value of x here that means 2 plus 3 into y y is what 1 substitute here 1 equals to k this imply 4 plus 3 equals to k that means k equals to what 7 this is your answer you need to find the value of k this way you need to find the solution now it's a very important question here we have both the same question let's say give the geometric representation of y equals to 3 as an equation see before starting this one let's uh, see this one this is your x-axis this is your y-axis so, so if you we'll take y equals to 7 any number so this represent what you know this represent y equals to 7 represent a parallel line which is plus to what parallel line or parallels to x-axis if I'll take x equals to 7 then this x equals to 7 x equals to 7 represent a straight line which is passed to y axis similarly y equals to 7 is a straight line which is passed to y axis that means general form general form is what x equals to a represent the parallel line or represent a straight line which is parallel to y axis okay and y equals to a represent a line which is passed to x axis so very important now we'll proceed for this question what we have here here give the geometric representation of y as an equation in one variable okay so to give them one variable how are you going to represent here so y equals to 3 if we we'll go for one variable this means y equals to 3 it is already in one variable so representation will be in a straight line 0 1 2 3 4 this is your answer finish this is one variable so a straight line would be there and present 3 now the question will ask you that for two variable so can you see this is a two variable no we cannot see so take here first you write y equals to 3 and write 0 into x plus y equals to 3 that means here coefficient of x is 0 and y equals to 3 and how are you going to represent this one right now i have shown you y equals to a represent a straight line which is parallel to x axis this one here we have for this one representation will be what one two three like that right one two three four mention here this is y y prime minus one minus two and here you represent it that is y equals to three this is a representation of y equals to three in two variable okay i hope you understood you can proceed for your second one if we'll go for this one x equals to what 9 by 2 and it will give you 4.5 4. okay thank you